this lesson we will have some fun with uh, motion graphics and I will also introduce you to MoGraph bit shader. As you can see I have a heart object here. You can see it's a uh, really simple geometry which is uh, a bit subdivided but uh, that is only because uh, I didn't want to use uh, hypernerves for this specific uh, object. And uh, let me just briefly doodle what I want to achieve here. The idea is quite simple and uh, I think this will be a lot of fun. So let's uh, pick maybe this color like this. And uh, what I want to do, I want to have some letters like this here that will really gradually form themselves from polygon debris. And I want that polygon debris to form this uh, heart. And I also want this heart to beat in a realistic manner. So realistic heartbeat. It will all make uh, much more sense once we do it. So let's uh, get rid of this dual guy and we can proceed. I will start this with the heart beating first and then we will do something regarding the letters and uh, text I was planning. And uh, if you remember correctly from previous lessons, if you want to use a specific shader, and in this case we want to use a bit shader on this guy, then shader effector is our best friend. So let's select our object, go to Mover menu, effectors, hold down the shift key, which will make it a child of this selected object. Now, by default, the shader comes with 0.5 on the scale value. And if I enable this deformation of object, it will use an default scaling for that guy. Now it really scaled this guy a little bit uh, too big according to my taste. So let's try something lower because this will be the maximum value once the heart is really stretched and inflated in full. So let's try maybe point uh, three. I think this would work. And uh, here under shading tab, I will load that MoGraph bit shader and it's actually quite simple shader and uh, let me show you what it does if I hit play here and you can see that this heart is beating so it's scaling according to this spline and it's scaling according to this value I hope that uh, it's really clear enough so let's go back to that bit shader and uh, you can see that uh, this beating is uh, really too abrupt for my taste and I would rather reset this spline and we'll build uh, something custom. So let's uh, drop this down and uh, I'll create a new point here. Maybe another one here like this. And uh, once I create this, let's lower this just a little bit and I will select all points hope you can see that because the screen is cut off. I will right click and do a point types ease ease. That means it will really ease up and soften up uh, all these transitions uh, between the points. So let me stop this, go back. Maybe this is just a tiny bit too big. So this would be a little bit softer. Let's go back and uh, you can see it's all about finding the right value. So maybe 0.2 here. I think this would work much better. So we can kill this use alpha strength because it's not of any use here. So how simple was that? A really cool effect in matter of a second. So what about the other part of our effect? And that is a little bit more tricky because uh, if I want to use pieces of this guy to be used as a letters that will be revealed in some sort of way and then those letters should form this heart then we should go into polygon mode by this uh, poly fx guy i will load it also as a child of this heart and uh, in this current state it's really not doing anything it's simply instructing this guy to break into polygon components. So we won't do anything here as far as the settings go. So we will just leave it 
as it is. We will use this polyfx as a generator and uh, we will load an effector for our polyfx. So just bear with me for a moment. First, we will create a text spline because uh, we want to obviously have some text. Maybe I will just hide this heart and uh, let's type here mogra is uh, awesome with exclamation mark because it's really awesome and uh, let's tune down the height just reveal this so i have uh, some sort of uh, guidance maybe 50 will work let's choose a different font maybe this one which is uh, really funny and uh, i can hide this heart for a moment now i created this text purely as a placeholder for our polygon debris that we will take from this uh, polygon heart so i really hope you are following this correctly now since this is a text spline i can use a spline effector on this polyfix so i will load a spline effector and uh, here under effector i can drop this text spline insights and uh, watch what happens the chunks the polygon components of this heart are now on this text spline and uh, if i play with the strength you can see the effect the problem is that they're on a single letter that is actually what i don't want i want this to be on all letters so i will use this uh, even spacing and then we will have all these guys these components these polygons of this guy spread across this text spline i can even hide the text spline so it's uh, really not bothering us and uh, just change some settings because i think that would be yes let's put this to 90 so it's really facing towards us now watch what happens if i press play these guys will be pulsating which is really great so the effect of the shader effector is transferred to this guy and uh, the effect is driven by the bit shader you can play with this uh, settings here for example you can have this value be keyframe from 100 percent to zero and uh, essentially create some sort of a crazy funky writing and by lowering this guy you will basically morph to the heart so that's a really cool setup i really love this uh, mograph stuff and mograph is really really awesome okay let's uh, go back now there is just one thing i want you to understand if you use a different deformer here so let's maybe go with point hit play you will see nothing as a result and uh, the reason for it is you cannot really do anything with point scaling if you uncheck this and use position values which respond to this point mode let's go with uh, 10 maybe you will see how you can create a different effect so basically now the parts of the letters are reacting to this bit shader now all the consequent effects will be different so things will behave different so bear that in mind that can be really really important and can make a world of difference in some situations so that was a really cool setup of course this also works in this mode and uh, that's really cool that was our mograph text to heart project so let's go to our next one